Uh, please meet me standing at the top of the map. <clears throat> the toes can be together or not. Just make sure that you are stable, you're comfortable, and the second, um, the second toes are facing forward. Palms touch. Inhale, lift the heart up to meet your thumbs. Keep your heart lifted as we exhale. Widen the shoulders back, lengthen your neck, lengthen the tailbone down to the earth. Wiggle the toes. Inhale, lift into the front and the sides of the lungs. Stay present from the interior as we exhale. Inhale into the front, sides, and back of lungs. Exhale. One ohm, please. Inhale, fill up. Oh. Exhale, rest the hands by our side. Sun salutation A. Inhale, stretch the hands up, look up. Exhale, fold, touch the earth, look at your legs. Inhale, prepare, eyes are forward. Exhale, bring both feet back, bend the elbows, lower it down. Inhale, slide forward onto the tops of the feet, heels in, heart up. Exhale, downward facing. Five breaths. Take your time to orient as we press all 10 finger pads down, claw the floor. <clears throat> press the knuckles down, straighten your arms, widen your shoulders, stretch the upper back slightly. Good, last full breath. Please bend the knees, eyes are forward. Inhale, we're at the top of the mat, eyes forward. Exhale, fold the body down, look at your legs. Stand up, inhale, reach the arms overhead, look at your thumbs. Exhale, rest it. Number two, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, we open, eyes forward. Exhale, close, jump back, lower it down. Inhale, elongate and lift, eyes up. Exhale, everything neutral, downward facing. Same, same, press the fingers, the knuckles down, straighten through the arms and widen the shoulders. Take a deep breath into the back plane of the body, inhale. Stay spacious as we exhale. You have three more breaths. I'm going to push play on the playlist if you want to play along with me. Um, it's called This Is Happening. There we go. Okay. Notice how you're feeling today and respond from a place that's um, receptive. Okay. All right. <clears throat> from downward facing, please bend the knees. Look forward. Inhale. Feet forward. Walk or jump. We're at the top of the mat. Exhale, fold it down, look at your legs. Stand tall. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, look up. Exhale, rest it. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, shift. Inhale, open forward. Press the hands down. Exhale, close. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we close. There was a request for hips. Please lift the right leg back. Imagine I hold your foot and pull you back enough that you can get weighty on your left foot. Stay or stack the hips. Bend the top knee. You can rise to the right fingertips. Any action of the right knee. It can be still. You can make circles. Breath is steady. If you're doing circles, make sure to do both sides. Return to stillness, inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, lower it down. Notice right leg, notice left. Inhale, lift the left leg back again. I pull back, enjoy. <laughs> Stay or lift and shift. You can stack the hips. Often if you come up to the fingertips and hollow out the shoulder, the armpit, you can tuck the tail. Any left leg movement that you want. The breath is steady. And we start learning to respond in ways that are useful. Pause, straighten the leg, square the hips, exhale, downward facing. 
Please bend both knees, look forward, float forward. Inhale, jump and land lightly. Exhale, fold it down. Stand up. Inhale, arms overhead, look at your thumbs. Exhale, rest it. Sun salutation B. Please bend the knees, inhale, hands up, eyes up. Exhale, touch the earth, look at your legs. Inhale, the hands are weight-bearing, straighten the elbows. Keep the palms on the floor the whole time. Exhale, jump back, lower down. Inhale, press the index knuckle down, lift up. Exhale, press the index knuckle down, lift back. Right foot forward, inhale, rise the arms overhead, bend the knee, look up. Exhale, touch floor, step back to lower. Inhale, widen the collarbones, look up. Exhale, bring everything back. Left foot forward, inhale, step, bend the knee, lift the arms, look up. Exhale, touch the floor, step back, bend the elbows next to you. Inhale, slither the hips forward, look up. Exhale, downward facing. Good, option one, stay. Option two, inhale, lift the heels, shift them to the right. Feet are weight bearing. Again, you can be on the left fingertips. Option one, stay, widen your buttocks back away from your hands, tuck the chin slightly, elongate through the whole left shoulder girdle. Some people get all pretty with it and extend overhead. It's any version you want. Good. If you wish to return to center, inhale, return with me. Exhale, other side, you can rise to the right fingertips. Inhale, rise the right shoulder, hollow out the armpit, press the hips away from you. Some people stay, others start playing with a side plank variation, which has nothing to do with the hips, everything to do with flow. Whatever works for you is fine. Eventually we return to center. <clears throat> Please bend the knees, look forward. Imagine you're jumping into crow, but don't. Inhale, jump it forward. Exhale, fold it down. Chair pose, bend the knees. Inhale, rise the arms overhead, look up. Samasitihi, exhale. Number two, same thing, let's add. Please bend the knees. Inhale, hands overhead, look up. Touch the floor, keep your knees bent. Widen the knees, crow. Lean forward, option one, stay. Option two, lift one or both legs. <clears throat> Eventually, if you feel quite comfortable, you press the index knuckles down and straighten the arms. <clears throat> lift the knees. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, widen it forward, eyes up. Exhale, lengthen it back, hips up. Right foot forward, inhale, step, hands up, eyes up. Touch the floor and stay here as we exhale, lift the back heel. Notice you can lift the thigh as well. Keep lifting the thigh, option one, this is it. Option two, warrior three. Press down through the right foot, lift up through the pelvic floor, belly and heart, any arms, three breaths. If you like playing with handstands, you can press the mat down and rise to the big toe. Anything that happens from there is fine. Chaturanga, exhale it back. Inhale, open forward, look up. Exhale, bring it back. Left foot. Inhale, step to rise, warrior one. Touch the floor, exhale, stay here. Can you please lift the back thigh? The more you start learning to use your thigh, the more you can balance. It's like another wing. <laughs> we can stay or lean forward. Keep the hands on the floor, maybe one or two fingers. Feel free to do any other variation. Of course, if you like to play with handstands, press the mat down, lift the top leg up. Any variation is fine. <laughs> Chaturanga, exhale it back, lower it down. Inhale, belly is long, heart is free. Exhale, downward facing. Rest the knees, rest the elbows. Some people want to rest their forehead, go for it. Other people want to invert. 
Stay as you are, option one. Option two, tuck the toes, lift the knees. Walk the feet forward and purposely allow the shoulders to go closer and closer to the wrist. Do you notice how my voice changed and I talk faster? That's because I can't breathe. Bring your shoulders back over the elbows and make sure you can breathe. From there, lift one leg. <clears throat> Imagine my hand is on your foot and you're trying to get me to stop touching your foot. So press the foot towards my hand, switch, <clears throat> switch. Maybe eventually you push pause at the top. I'm gonna come hang out with you <laughs> and just see what's going on. Okay, um, who was I watching? Ruby, keep your pose, just walk your feet further forward towards your, uh -huh, and you can bend your knees and widen the feet a little bit. Uh-huh, lift your favorite thigh up and use your thumbs a lot. Look towards, yes, lift one or both legs. Mm -hmm. Good, and just remember we have a second side. Of course, if you just found a place that feels right, do it. If you're with me, meet me in downward facing. <clears throat> remember how we started from crow on this one? Please shorten your down dog significantly. Lift the right leg up, inhale. Knee to your armpit, exhale. Return it down. Downward facing, awkward, very short. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to your armpit, pause. Return to down dog. Both knees, crow, jump or don't. Bend the knees, inhale, stay. Some people go ahead and float it forward towards crow. However you find crow, three breaths. Touch earth, straighten the legs, exhale, fold. Please bend the knees, chair pose. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, rest the arms. All right, last one. Please bend the knees. Inhale, hands up, eyes up. Exhale, touch the floor, straighten the legs. Inhale, prepare, eyes are forward. <clears throat> Can we do something different? Can you lean forward and bend the left knee? Hook the heel towards your seat. Jump, switch. Other side. And then figure out how to get the chaturanga. Some people walk, others jump back. Lower it back. So it's just like knocking on a door. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, shift it back. Right foot, inhale, step forward. Hands overhead, look at your thumbs. Touch the floor and pause as we exhale. Plant the palms, lift the back leg. Jump, switch, inhale, shift your legs. Again, last time, left foot, warrior one. Inhale, land your left foot, take over your mat, hands overhead, look up. Same thing, exhale, touch the floor, lift the back heel, palms down, lift the thigh. Imagine my hand is underneath your thigh, like my hand right now, and you push the thigh down to lift the other one up. <clears throat> Last one. How do you find chaturanga? Find it. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, wide. Exhale, bring it back. Downward facing. Um, if uh, downward facing, rest the knees, rest the elbows. I'll show you what I was seeing. <clears throat> so ideally, I'll show you what, what it could be. The upper thigh is lifting, right? So the thigh is lifting. What I was seeing is a lot of foot kicking, foot kicking. So the action is happening from the knee down. I like the action to happen from the hips and the thighs. So again, instead of kicking with the foot, see if you can lift the thigh over your head. I'm gonna come hang out with you. <laughs> if that helps you do it, if it doesn't, do what works for you. <clears throat> nice, Elena. Mm -hmm. Cool, Iris or Iris, yeah. Elisa, it looks like you can walk your feet closer towards your elbows and you can bend the knees a little bit. Uh-huh, the feet can be apart. Mm-hmm, go from there. And look towards your thumbs, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good, Ruby, this is looking a lot better. And good, Almudena. Okay, you all got it. Okay, 
whatever just happened, I liked what I said. <laughs> Please return to downward facing. Uh, bend both knees, look forward. Inhale, meet me at the top of the mat. Exhale, fold the body down. Bend the knees, inhale, stretch arms overhead, look up. Exhale, samas titihi. Let's go to chair pose. Please bend the knees, inhale, hands up. You can interlace the fingers, palms are up, seat is back and down. You can tuck the tail slightly, lift the chest more. Look forward, three breaths. Technically it's five, but we have a mission and it's different. <laughs> Keep your legs, interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale, please widen the heart. Exhale, chest onto the thighs. Look at your uh, toes. Bring the hips back, heart forward. Bakasana crow. Plant the palms, widen the knees onto the triceps, lean forward, claw the floor, use all 10 fingers, start engaging the forearms as though there was a rubber band hug hugging your forearms into each other. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we close. You ready for this? <laughs> right foot, warrior one. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, stay. Exhale, revolve. Left hand down. You can shorten your stance. Right hand, right waist. Inhale, lift. You can cross your arms. Let's stay a little bit longer in the twist because they take longer to get into them. Let's say five breaths. You know technically you would have done five breaths and everything. <laughs> Look to the floor, exhale, frame your leg, bend the right knee, side angle. Inhale, stretch the arm overhead, five breaths. Can you widen your left buttocks back, keep your left thigh bone, femur, where it is, and tuck the tail, lift and widen the chest. Look at your top arm. Good, please touch earth. Exhale, back knee rests, we're about to twist. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, cross the body once and adjust at least once. Palms will touch. You can press the top hand down. Inhale, lift the bottom chest. Stay as you are, open your arms. Some people tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, any version. Five breaths, feel free to bind. Look down, back off a little bit, back off a lot, back heel down, warrior two. Inhale, we rise, exhale, bend the front knee, crescent lunge. Inhale, lift the back heel, lift the arms up. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale, the heart opens. Exhale, the chest is on the thigh or inside of the thigh. Maybe the forehead's on the earth. There was a suggestion for hips. We can start working it from here. Please touch the floor, additional pose. Option one, stay as you are. I'm gonna switch my orientation so you can see. <clears throat> you can open. Option two, side plank. You can hold on to your right knee, shift it back. All 10 toes face the short edge of the mat. Option one, open. Option two, lift. <clears throat> if you want, you can hold your calf. You can hold your foot. Five breaths, your way of working, left hand down. <laughs> Maybe you find wild thing where the back, uh, the right foot touches the earth. Touch the earth, stay in plank, meet me in plank. Some of us stay here longer, make sure your low back feels safe meaning stable, stay or bend the elbows lower down. Inhale, we open, look up. Exhale, we close, downward facing. Option one, stay. 
Option two, bring the elbows down. Do your thing, five breaths. <clears throat> I'll come over and hang out. If ever you, this is nice, Jordan, very cool. And Anmudena, you can keep doing what you're doing, you've got it. If ever you wanted to play, shift your eyes towards the, the bottom of the map, the short edge of the map, uh -huh, and then tuck your chin. Uh-huh, keep going from there, keep going, keep going. And now start looking for your knees. Uh-huh, yes, yes, yes. Shift your hips back over your wrists. Mm-hmm. Keep everything, become very aware of your upper back, the back of the heart. Mm-hmm, engage your feet. Mm-hmm, keep exploring that. <laughs> if you found something that's fun, keep doing it. If you're with me, we have a left leg to do. <clears throat> Please meet me in downward facing if you're with me. Inhale, step the left foot forward, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, left hand to the shin, ankle, or toe. Inhale, lift the chest. Twist, exhale, look down, frame the leg, shorten your stance if you choose, any right hand, any position. Left hand to the waist. Inhale, elongate the torso, rotate the upper back. Stay or open, five breaths. Keep widening your left side back, right rib cage rises. Side angle, exhale, look down, frame the leg. You can get longer and bend the front knee. Inhale, extend the top arm over your ear. Bring your right thigh buttocks wide left tail under or left sitting bone under you only have one tail and then lift you can look at your top thumb genuinely stretch there's this adjustment that if you weren't 22 weeks into quarantine um, it would be at the thigh and the thigh is lifting up so make sure you're not falling down it's as though my hand comes from behind and like <laughs> hooks it up yeah we're about to twist, look to the floor. Exhale, frame the leg, back knee down. Inhale, lift the right arm up, you can point the back foot. Exhale, twist once, and shift a little bit. <laughs> Palms touch, I'm gonna shift my orientation. Some of us stay, press the top hand down. Inhale, lift the chest. Others widen the arms. Others choose to have the back knee lifted. Any top arm. Keep your pose, just um, observe the interior body, specifically the back of the lungs. Good. Look to the earth. Let's back off a little bit. Inhale. Back off a lot. Exhale, warrior two. Crescent. Inhale, lift the back heel, both arms rise. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back a non-dominant way. Inhale, the heart is open, eyes are up. Stay or exhale, fold onto or inside of the thigh. Sometimes the forehead touches the earth. Right hand to the floor, left hand, left waist. Option one, open and stay. Option two, let's start working with side plank. You can bring the left knee, hug it in, and step the foot halfway, meaning all 10 toes facing the long edge of the mat. Stay or lift into a side plank. You have five breaths. Any version, feel free to hold your toe. So Ashtanga Yoga third series, this is the first posture of third series. Some people go to wild thing, not in Ashtanga. <laughs> Meet me in plank, touch the earth, exhale, find your stability. Only once your low back is stable and you're fully present, exhale, bend the elbows. <laughs> Inhale, slide forward, nowhere else to be. Be fully present, inhale, lift. Exhale, downward facing. Stay or rest the elbows down. I'll play with you this time around, so I'll give you all a break from <laughs> me commenting. 
you can stay or lift one or both legs up. What I was sharing earlier is that a lot of you are automatically bringing the legs together. Not good, not bad. It's just one version. There's a lot more to be explored if the legs are apart because then you have more balance. When you have more balance, you have more range. When you have more range, you have freedom. When you have freedom, you can stay and learn a little bit more. You accrue time in difficult spaces <clears throat> without making them unnecessarily difficult. Breath is steady. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure you don't fatigue yourself. <clears throat> we return to downward facing. Please look at your toes. Walk your hands to your feet. Inhale, walk the hands back. Walk them back. Bend the knees so much that you can measure at least two hands in between your feet. Once that is true, grab the big toes, belly in. Keep the knees bent or don't. Inhale, straighten the elbows. Exhale, bend the elbows out, air out your armpits, hollow them out, it's true. Lean forward towards the toes, widen the thighs back and apart. Belly in, inhale, lengthen. Do you notice your rib cage, the left and the right rib cage? <clears throat> That's where I would adjust. So I would have my hands on either side of your rib cage, breathe there, inhale. Mm -hmm. And then exhale, lean towards the toes, and I bring a little bit more weight down. Let your head be heavy. Good. Some of us continue with this action, stay. Others, inhale, straighten the elbows, look forward. Stay as we exhale. Slide the palms underneath the feet, Hastasana. inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows. Same thing, you still hollow out the armpit, but sometimes you can massage your wrist if ever you wanted. <clears throat> Notice where your hips are in relation to your feet. Some people, their hips are further back from the heels. Eventually, the hips are over the heels or arches of the feet. Can you keep the length, but um, straighten the elbow and straighten the elbows? Inhale, look forward. Pause as we exhale. Come to the fingertips, bend the knees, belly in. Tuck the chin, we're gonna rise up one vertebra at a time. Tuck the chin, inhale, rise, unravel, or yeah, all the way up. Lift your arms high, lift your heels high, inhale. Can you bring your tail underneath your belly button? Uh-huh. Find somewhere forward to look at that's not moving. Lift your right knee up, belly level. Step forward, left knee up, inhale, three breaths. Continue on your own until you're at the top of the mat. Eventually the left foot lands. Next time the left foot touches the mat, Keep all 10 toes down. Inhale, lift both heels forward so they're under your tail, which is under your belly, which is under your heart, which is under your throat, which is under your nose. Keep it. Rest the heels. Exhale. Rest the arms. Good. Please step your right foot back. Inhale. I just shifted so I don't bend the foot in a different way. Arms are to a T. The ankles are under the wrists. Exhale, fold. Touch the earth. Inhale, prepare. Eyes are forward. Exhale, walk your hands back in between the feet. You can line your fingers up with your toes. You can line your wrists with your heels, whichever makes sense. Bend the elbows back, tuck the chin in. Lengthen your head down as though you were going to press your head down. If you know a headstand and you've been taught it and you know how to do it safely, go for it. If you're with me, I'm keeping my feet down. If ever you wanted um, a challenge, people who are upside down, please keep your legs wide. You can do anything you want. Just keep your legs apart. Maybe you find helicopter or um, toe taps. <clears throat> if you're with me and the feet and the oh, by the way, inverted people, stay inverted as long as you want. If your feet are on the ground, please press the hands down. Inhale, straighten the elbows. Keep it as we exhale. 
Hands to the waist, tuck the chin, inhale, tuck the tail, rise up. Keep it as we exhale. Arms to a T, inhale. Hands behind our back, exhale however you want. Some people have fists or palms, other people hug elbows, others interlace, whatever works for you. Inhale, bring the shoulders behind your peripheral vision, look up, exhale, fold. Extend the arms away from you. Five breaths. You can hear the breath. Keep the chin tucked, press into the feet. Inhale, we rise up tall. Stay tall as we exhale. Arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, touch your thighs, your calves, your ankles, your toes. You have five breaths. Fold forward. And I'm just getting the timer out because there was a special request for hips. And anytime I work hips for real, the timer comes out. <laughs> Good. Please rise, inhale. Let's work hips. Please shorten your stance once twice. Rest the left knee down, rest the right knee down. Option one, toes together, knees apart, rest. Option two, frog. Instead of having your hips on your heels, come up, widen the feet out, frog legs, widen the knees. We're here for time. If you need a number, 20. All right. <laughs> Um, option one, stay as you are. Please, um, we're at 75% max, okay? The reason I'm saying that is we're about to bring all of our attention to the tailbone behind us at the base and the pubic bone in front of us at the base. The tailbone is looking for the pubic bone tuck. Bring the pubic bone towards your belly. Bring the belly up towards the heart. Widen the heart towards the shoulders. Shoulders widen, free up the back body. Keep your low back. Option one, this is it. Chances are we're at 80%. Option two, press the knees down for five. Press the knees down a lot, four. As though you're going to leave a knee print on your mat. Three, keep pressing down. Two, keep the tail tucked. One, keep the tail tucked. Stop pressing the knees. Let them widen. Maybe we're at 85%. Option one, stay. Option two, keep the position. Just widen the thighs back. Keep your head forward. We're on the last uh, eight breaths. If you're gripping anything, um, back off 5%, stop gripping. So whenever we're working something that's difficult, um, consciously we'd like to program the system to be as calm and available as possible. If you're already clenching, um, the body isn't necessarily learning new things and the system isn't learning any other way to respond. So if we back off five or 10%, then the nervous system can learn where safety is and it knows that you listen. So it doesn't need to tighten more and more, if that makes sense. We're on the last mm, 11 seconds. So that's what, two breaths. Breathe deeply. Good, last full breath. Inhale, we rise up onto the hands, I mean. And exhale, scoop the knees in, tuck your tail, pause. Back off a little bit more. Keep backing off until you're on all fours. Some people naturally start wagging their tail if that's you, let that happen. Good, we're gonna do a super awkward down dog, it's okay. Press the hands down, tuck the toes, lift the knees, inhale. Step your right foot wide on the mat. Exhale, step your left foot wide on the mat. Can we look right? Walk your hands to the right foot, inhale, lunge. Exhale, back knee down. You can point the back toes. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Stay or widen your thighs back. Tuck the tail in, lift through the chest. We'll be here 10 breaths. Some people like to stay, others get long. <clears throat> if ever you have blocks nearby, ooh, next week, let's do that next week. I'll include more blocks. I don't want you to get up and stop practicing. <laughs> All right, whatever version you're doing, if you lengthened your stance, the left hand can be on an L, the thumb to your glute, um, let's call it your inseam. 
right underneath your glute, and then rotate the thigh down. That way the top of the hip, excuse me, the top of the thigh stretches. You can stay or any arms around the last 20 seconds. Some people will come up to the fingertips, super elegant chest. Engage your legs more than you're used to. Relax your jaw more than you're used to. This is the body firing, trying to engage muscles. And if you allow it to engage your face and your hands, you're wasting energy. Either by not listening to your body or by not shifting um, the engagement to a different body part. That was time. Please back off. Inhale a little bit. Exhale a lot. Make a footprint. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee. Inhale. Walk your hands towards the long edge of the mat. Keep it going. Exhale, hands to the left. Back knee down. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Some people naturally wag their tail. If that's a necessity for you, do it. If you prefer stillness, stay. Some people prefer links. Find the one that works for you. The cool thing too, when we know we're working for time and we have, one is we can take more time to get into it. And two is um, we can pay attention a little bit more closely. You can stay or notice if you're doing this. A lot of people um, stretch onto the side of the knee. See if you can spin the thigh down. That's what the manual adjustment is for, the right thumb in the inseam and rotate the thigh down. We're halfway there, stay or walk your hands uh, fingertips. Let yourself be lighter and lighter on the hands, heavier, not heavier, more active in the legs. It's as though there was a scale under the left hand and the right hand and you lift like three pounds off. Breath is steady. Good. And that's time. Frame the leg, back off a little bit, inhale. Back off a lot, exhale. Make a footprint. And tuck the back toes, inhale, lift the back knee. Meet me wide-legged, exhale. How do you sit down? Go ahead and find your seat, option one. Option two, let's play with it. You can rotate your fingers back, walk the hands back beyond underneath and then slide. Now you've created a slide for your thighs and then engage the thighs in like you had a thigh master <laughs> and slide it down. Rest. All right, I'll do the opposite of you, but I mean right when I say right. Can you please bring your right hand under your thigh? Left arm up, lift the whole rib cage up, stretch your belly, inhale, stay, or exhale, side stretch. Point the toes. You can do anything you want with the top arm. I like bending the elbow. Press the head back, lift the elbow high. <clears throat> if I was adjusting, I'd have one hand on your right thigh. It's, no, it'd be your left thigh. And then one hand on your rib. Can you breathe into the rib hand, the ribs? Mm -hmm. And then lengthen down. Rise, inhale. Other side, exhale, left hand under the thigh, right arm is up. Inhale, lift the whole rib cage, stretch the belly. Keep it or exhale, side bend. Do what you want with the top arm. Again, if you press the skull back and the hand into the skull, you have more integrity. You have tension on both that help you find length. Keep pressing your thigh down, breathe into the upper exposed ribs. Inhale, we rise. All right, hips, hands are down. Option one, this is it. Option two, walk it forward. We'll be here for time and I'll share with you how I do it. <clears throat> Option one, this is it. Notice um, the pubic bone can press forward towards the earth. Widen your buttocks back. That'll get into a different angle of the adductors of your inner hips. Option one, stay. Option two, one hand in front of the pelvis, one hand behind it. Without moving the legs, lift the hips and shift the hips forward. Same, same. Press the pubic bone towards the floor. Point the toes. Relax your fist, relax your jaw, relax your forehead. At any point, you can stay. 
Last setup. You can stay or one hand in front, one hand behind. Press the heels down, lift and shift the hips forward. <clears throat> the breath is steady. We're on the last like four breaths. Forehead is parallel to the earth. Good. That was time. Back off a little bit. Inhale. Back off a lot. Tuck your tailbone a lot. Do you see how that takes you out of the pose? Shake it out a little bit. Um, narrow your stance to about 90 degrees and look over the right leg. I'll do the right leg with you this time. Um, the left hand is in between the legs. The right hand is outside. Look at your index fingers. They're exactly as wide as they would be in Chaturanga and both index fingers are facing the same direction. Yeah? Press down, inhale, lift the legs. Five, four, three, two, one, sit. Look forward, switch it up. The left leg is on the center of the mat. The right leg is at three o'clock. You could be at 2.45, you could be at 2.30. <laughs> Press the hands down. Same, same, different. Press the hands down. The closer the hands are to you, the more accessible it is to stack your bones. The further it is from you, the more it's gonna demand of the soft muscles, yeah? Press down, inhale, lift. Stay or cross your ankles. Bend the elbows. Stay or straighten the elbows. Uncross the legs. Bring the left leg back. How do you find chaturanga? Go for it. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we close. Downward facing. All right, I'm gonna teach these. Pashasana, inhale, meet me in a squat at the top of the mat. Please keep your squat and pretend that this is the top of my mat. I just need to face you or else it gets weird. Please shift your knees to the left. I need to do it this way. Please shift your knees to the right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do the complete opposite. Can you draw your armpit off on your thigh? Not your elbow, your armpit or the side of your ribs. <laughs> left hand to the waist. Do you notice how close the shoulders are to each other? Cut it out, widen the shoulder back. Option one, this is it, ear, um, or just close your eyes, adjust your neck. Stay, option one. Option two, the top arm, go yes. And <laughs> bring the elbow to the bottom of the glute, not the top of the glute, the bottom, the gluteal fold, if, if it was on the back. Palms down, lean forward. Stay, or you could rest your forehead on the mat. Five breaths, option one, stay as you are. Option two, straighten the legs. Option three, top leg goes back. Option four, the top leg replaces the bottom. <laughs> Everyone does chaturanga somehow. Exhale, find chaturanga. Inhale, we open, lift up. Exhale, widen the buttocks back. <laughs> Again, inhale, we meet seated. For you all, the knees will go to the right. Is that true? In the other direction, whatever direction they haven't already gone to. Again, we're not resting the elbow. We're bringing the breast, uh, the right ribs. I was going to say the breastplate, but it's not the breastplate. The ribs or the armpit. Press the hand down. Rest the top arm on your hip. Again, notice this fear response that's protecting the chest and blocking breath. Can you instead widen the shoulder into its socket? Option one, stay here, train this for like two minutes a day. Option two, keeping the shoulder, bring the elbow to the thigh, palms down. Lean forward, both elbows can support you. Stay or rest your forehead on the ground. Some people balance. Keep the legs bent or straight, five breaths. Some people straighten the top leg back. Others reconvene. The top leg replaces the bottom. How do you find chaturanga? Do it. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we close. <clears throat> Crown chasana. If you know how to jump into it, do it. If you're with me, just meet me seated. Inhale, jump through. Right knee is bent. <clears throat> Option one, hug your left knee towards your chest. 
yeah? Option two, hold on to the thigh. Oh, by the way, make sure you're not arching your back. The more you tuck-ish, <laughs> so you're at the top of the glute, the more access you have to the hamstring. You can hold on to the thigh, you can hold on to the calf, you can hold on to the foot, five breaths. Press the right foot down, lift the back of the ribs up. Breath is steady. Inhale, create space. Exhale. Good. Release the pose. Um, just rest the foot on the ground and take a break, please. Rest the elbows down. Pause. <clears throat> Option one, stay here. Five breaths. Recalibrate. Option two, notice where your left elbow is. Your left hand goes there. Notice where your right elbow is. Your right hand goes there. Do you see the elbows are out? Hug them back. Press the right foot down, straighten the arms. Stay or press the right foot so far down, the hips rise, look in between the thumbs. Stay or lift the right leg up. Five breaths. <laughs> that was a very fast five breath for me. Chaturanga, however you find it, exhale, lower it down. I'll teach it differently on the other side. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Dwama Pada, second leg. Inhale, meet me seated. If you know how to jump into it, of course, do that. Left knee is bent, heel is next to you. Bend the right knee and hug in. Option one, this is plenty. Option two, hold on to the thigh or the calf. Option three, hold the foot or the wrist. Five breaths. Make sure you're leaning up, not back. It's as though you're climbing up your leg <laughs> rather than falling back away from it. Good. Inhale, there is space. Keep it as we exhale. Please bend the knee and rest. Good. Stay as you are. <clears throat> I'm going to teach the same concept, but from a different perspective, okay? Option one, just stay resting. Option two, slide both hands back. You know to keep the elbow in rather than out. When the elbow is out, can you just stay here? Notice how the right shoulder is falling down. Keep the right shoulder in the socket. How? Elbow back. All right, press the hands down. Press the left foot down. Option one, stay. This is where the variation in teaching comes in. Option two, cross the left ankle over the right. So you're still doing one-legged crow. It's just a supported one-legged crow. So you don't have to straighten the leg behind you. <laughs> Figure out how to get the chaturanga. Exhale, lower it back. Inhale, open it. Exhale, close. All right, I like this one. I like all of them, but I mean, I like teaching this. Look at your right hand. Look at your feet. Look at your right hand. We're going to squat around the right foot. Okay, so pause and just look at the screen. Don't do anything. I will bend the knees and inhale, jump to a squat around the right hand. Your turn. From downward facing, look at your right hand. Inhale, jump a squat around the right hand. Return, exhale. Option one, same thing. Option two, only one foot touches the floor. So a one-legged squat, bend the knees. Inhale, only one leg touches the floor. Return. <laughs> option three, option do what you just did, or no feet touch. Instead, you can pause and watch. You jump the thighs around your arm, and then you can land into the pose. Go. When in doubt, just jump to seated. <laughs> and again, it's just like a door. Um, we're knocking on a door daily. You don't have to like get frustrated there's a door there. Um, option one, do your thing if you know Ashtavakrasana. Option two will work towards it. If you're with me, right leg figure four, I'm mirroring you. So I mean right leg. Option one, stay, bring the hands back, lift the chest up. The upper body shows no signs of stress. Stay or bend the bottom leg. You can scoot yourself closer towards the foot. Keep the shoulders behind you. Again, we're inviting the nervous system to allow independence between your hips and your spine, between your hips and your shoulders. 
stay or cradle your leg. <clears throat> this is where there's a tendency, I'll give you a side view, there's a tendency to collapse back. Can you keep your belly button over your pubic bone? Maybe not over your pubic, over your pelvis. We'll just keep it general. Stay or, um, what's it called? Rock your leg side to side, not back and front. So keep the sitting bone where it is. We're lubricating the hip joint. Okay. Next time the knee is out, keep it there. Keep the heart. All right, option one, this is it. Option two, lift the heel over your forehead. Bring it down three times. One. Don't go under, rather bring it up two. Good, next time it's up, notice and back off. Let's shift the position, knee back, bring the shoulder underneath the calf. We're moving towards um, compass pose. Um, if ever you wanna bend the bottom leg, you can. Top arm, left arm, holds the outside of the foot, right hand is out, extend. We have five breaths. <clears throat> if ever you have a strap, you can use it. If ever you prefer not to hold onto your leg, you don't have to. All right, that was enough warm up. <laughs> Return, inhale. Can you hug your calf over your shoulder, over your bicep? Press the hand down, both hands down. All right, there's different positions to enter from. All right, press the extended leg, that's for you the left foot. Press the left foot down, lean forward, slide your buttocks back, lift, cross the feet. Adduct, hug the thighs towards your arm. Stay or bend the elbows, five breaths. How do you find chaturanga? If you're in the position, uncross the feet, bring the left leg back. Exhale, go back. <laughs> Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Look at your left leg, excuse me, look at your left wrist. Look at your feet, look at your left wrist. We're gonna jump a squat around the left. Bend both knees. Inhale, squat around your left hand. Return. Same thing, maybe only one foot touches the ground. I don't care which. Bend the knees, inhale, figure it out. <laughs> Exhale. <clears throat> All right, same, same, or this time your thighs jump around your arm. Bend the knees, inhale, hook it. Maybe you find the pose, maybe you choose not to. <laughs> if you're with me, we meet seated and we start building up towards it. Please cross your left leg, figure four. I'm just mirroring you. Bring the hands back, lift the chest. Option one, stay. Option two, bend the bottom leg, scoot towards it. Feel free to cradle your leg. Feel free to let go of the bottom. I don't care what the bottom leg does. Some people like to rock um, the left leg side to side and that lubricates the hip. Others prefer stillness. Next time the knee is out, keep it. Heel up and down. And we have very different sides. <laughs> um, it's all good. They don't have to be the same. They serve different purposes. Good. Next time the heel is up, just notice where it is. Interesting. That's all. <laughs> all right, let's do the opposite. So we work side to side. Now we're going to work back. Can you hook the um, thigh back and bring the calf over the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the top hand can hold the pinky toe side of the foot from the top. Do whatever you want with the bottom hand. The closer it is to you, the more constricted one is. The further it is to, from you, the more space you have. Press the foot into the hand, stretch your armpit, stretch your ribs. Again, um, if you prefer to have the leg bent, you can. If ever you just want to work one, um, one arm, you can. Breath is steady. Good. Bend the knee. Um, I pretend I'm going to suck my thumb with the left hand. And instead of sucking my thumb, I bring it to the belly of the calf and adjust the calf over the shoulder. Make sure you're not pinching any hair. <clears throat> All right, press the hands down. We can enter in the same way. Please press the right foot down and slide the buttocks back and up. You can stand on the foot. 
Stay or cross your ankles. Hug the thighs in, straighten the legs, or don't. Maybe you bend the elbows. Five breaths. Maybe you don't. Four, three. If you're playing, you could bring the elbow down to lift the hand up. Uncross the feet, find chaturanga. Extend the left leg back, uh, the right leg back. Figure out how to get chaturanga. Inhale, stay in up dog for a little bit. Exhale, down dog. What do you need to do? Let's just say three breaths. Technically, there is no breath count there, but today there is. <clears throat> All right. We're going to meet in a plank. You could be quite linear, or we can undulate spinal wave towards it. Me, uh, towards it. If you're with me, down dog. Suction the belly in. Inhale, lift the heels up, tuck the tail under, hug the belly back, stack the shoulders over the wrists, lower down belly time. Rest your hands by your thighs. Lengthen your right leg back, lengthen the left leg back. Feet are together in Ashtanga. They don't have to be together anywhere else. So you choose what works for you. Press the pubic bone down, press the hands down. Inhale, lift everything else up. Shalabhasana, five breaths. Good. You could keep it classic or right hand holds your right hamstring, left hand holds your left hamstring, rise. Any arms you want, last five breaths. Close the eyes or don't. Keep the chest up, upward facing, inhale, slide it forward. Exhale, downward facing, bring it back. Same undulation, belly in. Inhale, lift the heels, tuck the tail, suction the belly back, stack the shoulders over the wrists, uncurl the neck, lower it down. Same, same, different. Lengthen right leg, lengthen left leg. Press the pubic bone down, press the hands down. Inhale, lift. Option one, stay. Option two, bend the knees. Right hand holds right ankle, left hand holds left ankle. Feet together or not, five breaths. Press the, uh, flex the feet for a second and just lift the heels up. Press the shins into the hands. Bring more weight towards the thighs. Keep it, now point the toes. Slingshot the heart forward. Chin parallel to the earth. Stay up, upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Good. <clears throat> Meet me kneeling. You can jump forward to the knees or you can just drop the knees down. Hands to the waist, camel pose. Please bring the hands to the low back and press the tops of the feet down. Slowly, uh, you can look towards your belly button. Tuck the tail, scoop the tail under, offer the hips forward. Inhale, lift the heart up and out towards the sides. Lift the chin up, any variation, five breaths. Rise it, inhale, exhale, we sit. Option one, tuck the tail, belly in, hold on to the knees, round the spine. From the spine to the right shoulder, right ribs, inhale, widen. Keep it as we exhale. From the spine to the left shoulder, left ribs, inhale, widen. Exhale. Option one, stay. You have eight more breaths. Option two, touch the floor in front of you, rest the elbows. Some people go towards child's pose. Other people set up for headstand. If you know tripod headstand, you can press the hands down, elbows next to the ribs. If you've been taught it or you know it, do it. The right knee on the right, tricep left knee on the left. You have eight breaths. You can stay. You can child's pose. You could headstand. You could headstand into crow. Whatever works for you. Six more breaths. Hmm. 
Yeah. Nice. That was a good transition. That was cool. Just watching you from over here. Uh-huh. Good, good, good. Mm-hmm. All right, we have one more kneeling back bend. Rise up. This time I'm gonna hang out with you, but I'll demo first if you need a little bit of a break. Option one, you can do the same as before. <clears throat> Option two, you can move your hands anywhere you need. In um, second series, one would hold on to right underneath the base of the calves, right above the ankles, and then head touches the earth without letting your seat touch the floor. One, two, three, four, five. And then inhale, rise. Whatever version of kneeling back bend calls you, you have 10 breaths. I'll come hang out with you. Inhale, set up. You could do camel. Exhale, you can do any other version. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh, good. Nice summer. Mm-hmm. Good. And yeah. Keep everything. Just lift the back of the heart up. Press the front of the hips forward. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's cool to watch. Nice, Angitha. Good job. Nice to watch you all. <clears throat> Eventually, we start backing off. Rest. Option one, um, sit on the heels or in between the heels. Option two, go forward in any way that you know. It could be forward towards uh, child's pose, towards headstand. Option three, go back. You can rest the hands, you can rest the elbows, you can scoot the tail underneath. Anything at all, you have eight breaths to calibrate. If there's anything that's gripping, back off of that version of the pose. At any point, you can change your mind. <sighs> Good. Last four breaths. Any arms you want. Take your time, make your way out of the pose. Exhale, touch the mat or on all fours, whatever version you did. You can undulate. How do you find down dog? Meet us in down dog. All right, there's one more hip variation. Um, please, from downward facing, lift the right leg up, inhale. Ekapada Raja Kapotasana. Exhale, pigeon. Right knee to the right wrist. Exhale, lengthen your left leg back. Option one, stay. Option two, plant the palms. Lift and shift. Widen the right buttocks back a little bit. Tuck the tail. Go forward. The first one could be sleeping pigeon. The closer your foot is towards you, the more it'll help you access um, back bending and whatnot. The more the shin is parallel to the short edge of the mat, the more it's gonna demand from the sides of the hip. Option one, stay here, 15 more breaths. Option two, any upper body you want. You can stay or maybe some people, if you're upright, you can bend the back leg. Again, if you bring the foot closer to you, it'll give you more access. At first, we can hook, we can hook, we can hook. Eventually, as you do that, you find the edge, keep it without moving the hand. The foot presses right back into the hand, lift the chest. Exploration. We're on the last 10 breaths. Any other version you want to do, do it. Maybe you switch your hands and then the foot goes into the crook of the elbow. You could go into mermaid where both hands meet. You could bring the left hand to hold the front foot. Any version. Mm 
last five breaths. Some people like to be upright and flip the grip. Breath is steady. Good, that was time. Please press the hands down, tuck the back toes, lift the knees, lift the hips, inhale, lift it back. Feel free to chaturanga and up dog. Feel free not to. You have five breaths to do whatever you need. I'm just gonna switch my orientation, but you all can stay. <clears throat> Dwamapa, the second leg. Inhale, bring your left knee to the left wrist. Exhale, lengthen the right leg back, 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 back. And a little bit more back. <laughs> Stay or adjust the front foot. If you're going forward, the heel can be a little bit further from you. So the shin is parallel to the short edge of the mat. Press the hands down. Inhale, press into the earth, lift the chest. Exhale, lengthen the heart forward, soften any gripping in your neck, in your jaw, in your forehead. Breathe. Some of us stay here. Others want to come upright. Any version of upper body that you choose. Again, if you're going more upright and towards like back bending, it's really useful to have the heel closer to you um, it's just like shifting gears when you're going uphill. Doesn't mean it's um, good or bad. It's just useful. <laughs> All right. Stay or hook, hook, hook. Like keep bringing the heel in towards your seat to the outside of it. Eventually, maybe you stop um, pulsing, you pause, and the foot presses right back into the hand, lengthen the front chest. We're more than halfway there. Any variation. Good. Last five breaths, any version. Feel free to be upright. Feel free to be forward. Wherever you are, see if there's no fidgeting for the last three breaths. Good. Slowly the hands touch the floor. Pause. Move slower than slow. Plant the palms, tuck the back toes. Make your way to down dog. Inhale, widen your hips back. Lift the knees off the mat. Step back. Feel free to chaturanga and up dog. Feel free not to. Anything that needs to happen, you have five breaths. Good. Meet me seated, uh, bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, meet me seated. Exhale, rest it back, lie down. Back bending, press the feet into the earth, plant the palms by your ears, by your shoulders, whatever makes sense for you. Mm, if you prefer bridge, the hands can be by the thighs. We're gonna do three. Press the hands down, tuck the tail under, lift the back of the hips, rise. Five breaths. Engage the thighs, lift the tailbone. Good. You can lower halfway, readjust your hands. Number two out of three. Lift, inhale. If you know how to stand up and drop back, come up to the fingertips and stand. If you prefer to come down, exhale, lower down. Reset the hands, inhale, and lift up. We have five breaths. If you're standing, drop it back. Take your time. Last two breaths. Good. 
Eventually we back off a little bit and back off a lot. Exhale, rest. If you had an off button, just turn it off for three and a half seconds. Hug the knees to the chest, inhale. Meet me seated, rock up. Exhale, legs are straight or not. If you know Paschimottanasana and you wanna be classic, go into it. If you're with me, bend the knees. Exaggerate how tired you are. Bring the hands to the shins. Inhale, pull the upper body tall. And exhale, glue the ribs to the thighs and fold forward. You can hold your ankles, your shins. You can cross your wrists, tuck the chin. It's as though you're preparing for like a really nice back massage. <laughs> you can stay or maybe you're holding on to the back of the calves and allowing the feet to slide away from you. Eight breaths. Inhale, fill up the back of your shirt with air. Exhale. Inhale, fill up the back and the sides of your shirt. Exhale. Include the low back, the kidneys, their skin that can stretch as you breathe. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Exhale. So we have the back body, we have the side body. Can you breathe into the front body? So you're multidimensional, right? So circum uh, breathe into the circumference of the body. You have length, you have width, you have depth. Good. Keep your pose, just stop it with the effort, like 20%. Good. Back off with the effort 30% more. Good. Stay forever. When it's time to come out, you come out. Bend the knees, make your way onto your back. Hug the knees in, inhale, and rock back. You have eight breaths to do anything at all you want. Some people happy baby, other people rock side to side. Maybe that means you want to twist four to the right, four to the left. Whatever you need to do, do it. I'm just gonna stand up and turn the music off. <clears throat> but self-soothe on your back. Mm -hmm. Nice. Gradually we start making our way down. Um, if you're doing anything asymmetrical, make sure to do the other side for breaths. <clears throat> if you've already done four breaths on either side, we can meet lying down. Take rest. Let your legs be wider than usual. Let your feet splay out. Bring all of your awareness to the soles of the feet, the toes, the arches, the foot. Notice any sensation. Invite that awareness to reside there and include your ankles, your calves, the knees and the thighs. Relax. Inhale, the belly fill, fills up. Exhale, relax your pelvic floor, the hips, the glutes. Inhale, the belly and the heart fill up. Widen the shoulders behind you. Exhale, rest biceps, elbows, forearms, wrists palms of hands. Inhale, belly, heart, throat. Exhale, jaw, four corners of the eyes, the center of the brain. Take rest.
Okay. Inhale, take a long body breath. Notice and invite yourself back. Make any natural movements with your face, fingers and toes. Rotate wrists and ankles in every direction. Stretch the body long. Inhale, arms overhead, stretch. Exhale, bend your knees. Notice how you feel. Allow the knees to fall to the side. Rest on your side. Press the hands down. Inhale, meet me seated, rise up. Cross your legs in a way that's comfortable. Palms touch. Inhale, rise the heart over your belly. Exhale, rest your shoulders over the hips. Notice how you feel. Gradually as we move through this practice, with this practice, we can come face to face with our access points, with our practice, with our thoughts, with our breath, with our day. And we get to notice baseline. And day by day, we work with baseline consciously. And we can start shifting unconscious patterns. We can start shifting towards more efficient, reflective, and insightful ways of being, of relating with ourselves and with our community. Thank you for making time to be here and to practice. Namaste. Happy day. Thank you for being here. Um, my name's Marie Maribel. Um, yeah, let me know if you all have any questions.